ages and I think that happens here. Down the wicket, is he gone? What a catch! Was he Mapram? Caught and bowled. Well, he juggled a bit. It'll be interesting to see it again, but he did very, very well on his follow through. Well, that's a real shame from New Zealand's point of view, but what great cricket here from the fast bowler. Talk about reactions and poise and managing to, uh, to hold on to it in the end. He's delighted because that's a very good piece of cricket from him. So good from New Zealand, now 16 for two. Driving, he's gone. Behind point, Gavin Larson, he's furious with himself. And if that man Ejaz Ahmed again, John, I think he caught, pulled off a screamer to get rid of Spearman. The very first wicket and now the ninth wicket. Just as valuable in the context of the game. And you see Jazz Ahmed, he's been safe. And Larson's brave little effort has come to an end. On for 23, 164 now for nine. As you see. Yeah. Call him. It's all over. Was he Makram? He's a good performer. He finishes off the game here at Karras Rock. Pakistan have won. Roger Tews, the last man. A marvellous hand from him. He was in a pretty hopeless situation in the end. But all credit to Roger Tews, the last man to go. Tews was at... In the air. Could be out. And is out. Last ball of the 46th over. Pasarani takes the catch. Quite hit it hard enough. Just a flick of the wrist, it was there, it was in the slot. He just spooned it out there to Barsadali, who perhaps should have caught him about 30 runs ago. Turns and looks at the crowd as if to say, I've got that one anyway. Perori has gone a fine knock from him. He's got to get it right back on the Ken's leg stump here. Oh, he stopped this one, he could be out, and he is out. Down at long on, Chris Cairns teeing off. Rummy's Roger down in the deep. He doesn't get hold of it that well. It was ambitious because the man was down there. I'll be hoping that this is not the turning point because all of a sudden New Zealand's task comes much more difficult. Straight down long end, long on throat. It's in the air and it's beautifully caught. Well, no matter how well you're hitting the ball, you have to display sound defensive technique. And Craig Spearman really got caught halfway there. He didn't know whether to attack or defend and he ended up just spooning a catch to Sahail. He took it rather comfortably in the end, but a good start from New Zealand, but Craig Spearman will be disappointed. Well, that might be close, he's got him. Young has gone first ball. Wasi Makram has two and two deliveries. Is it, did he get an edge on this delivery and did it pitch outside leg stump? Well, he didn't get the edge. And of course, if the ball does pitch outside the leg stump, you cannot be LBW, so let's have a look. Well, no, I think that was about middle and leg. Went straight on with the arm. A good decision from umpire. Done. So Brian Young misses out. Out first ball, it's 48 for two. Well, that's fairly conclusive. Middle stump out of the ground. Wazzy Makram, the successful bowler. And it was always too much for New Zealand. The last shot of the day, as it were. Bowling. Leg stump. Leads him on. He's going for it. It's the last few overs. He had to. As we're going to see here, look at this. Sleep. Right up there in the block hole. Moving in, bowling at middle and leg. Another very useful one-day delivery, John. This guy can certainly bowl. Certainly can. Lee Jamon gone, 222 for seven.